Mid Journey just updated version 7 again and we are so back. Check this out. There are three things to go over but why don't we start right here. Click on edit on any one of your images and you will see the new editor. They redid the layout. Hallelujah. This is so beautiful. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just whiplash because what we had before <laughs> wasn't that great. But they took our feedback and now we have something great to work with. The option to click and drag your picture is back in the center of every image. We have our aspect ratios hanging out here on the right side always. Brush size, restore, as well as select. The smart selection is still here. And it works just as well as you'd think. We can erase the selection or the inverse and the entire background. We'll just go with the selection, but you'll notice that there is no more layer system. To get to that, we have to scroll down here open in edit tab. This used to be called the advanced editor and this is a way better workflow. If you want some of these more advanced tools, keep them on the separate page. This is great. Retexture can also be found here. So why don't we say portrait of a model in front of a moon? And since this editor is in the light box, we can find all of our other pictures over here on the right side. Isn't that awesome? I mean, again, this is what we had before, but it's good to have it back. And look at this, one and four didn't really work, but two and three are not bad at all. Ah, maybe, still kinda nice. And look, if you're as interested in this stuff as I am and have no one to talk to about these updates, check out my community on the school platform. Lots of good conversations going on, the link will be in the description below. Okay, let's get to update number two, and maybe this will be the most important part. They actually updated how Midjourney generates your images, the look of your pictures. This was a full model update. But the interesting thing is that it's not called 7.1 or anything like that. It's just replacing the old version 7. So you might actually not enjoy that. It's a little hard to test, but the images you used to make might not be able to get generated as easily anymore. It says all images should now have slightly improved image quality, prompt accuracy, hand accuracy, and body coherence. That's a pretty big update because it just replaced version 7. It's a little hard to test what the changes actually were but there is one thing you can try. If we take this generation right here, I found this prompt on the explore page. A white female model wearing a green suit on the cover of a fashionable and high-end magazine. If we click on one of these images, and then we click on this hamburger icon, copy, seed, and then we run this prompt again with that seed number, we'll be able to see the differences between the old version 7 and the new version 7. It's really the only way to test what changes actually happened, and I don't even know if this is the best example to do it with, but we're going to give it a try. So our original, what we would have generated a couple of days ago, versus this grid. What do you think? Is there a clear difference? I don't know. I don't, obviously not. They're going to be very, very similar pictures. The model just got fine-tuned a little. I'll try to narrow down the comparisons. We have our old version versus the new one. I'll say I like the new one a lot better here. That's a great picture. Old, new. Again, I think I'm gonna have to go with the new one. Old, new. This one's a little tougher. Obviously the new isn't bad, but the old one has a cigarette. We didn't ask for it, but I think it really added something to the picture. And then finally, old versus new. Again, maybe it's a bit of a toss up. I don't mind the new one. And of course this example could be a little biased. Maybe I got lucky and I just happen to like the new ones more here. Unfortunately, there is no good way to test the differences. You'll have to go to your old prompts, copy the seed, run the prompt with that seed number, and then compare and contrast. And if you want to support this channel, please consider leaving a like on this video. I'd love to share this with as many people as possible, and I need your help with that. But then take a look at this. We have a new parameter, a new knob to twist and turn. It's been a long time since we've gotten one of these, and let me tell you, I think it was worth the wait. So right now it's called dash dash EXP, and that stands for experimental. The Mid Journey team has said that they don't know if this name is going to stay as experimental. They didn't really know what to call it, but for now we have dash dash exp if you want to trigger it. The value is going to go from 0 to 100 with 0 being the default. That means that exp will not run on any prompt unless you specify it. They also say that it is similar to the stylized value, but with one key difference. Although subtle, they do say that it's going to make your new images more detailed, more dynamic, creative, and more tone mapped. Not really sure what that last part means. Because it is related to the stylized value, that means your prompt accuracy will degrade as you move into higher values. They recommend values of 5, 10, 25, 50, 100. <laughs> I think that's basically the entire range. 
I've run my own experiments and I'll tell you what values I think will work best for you. It's also important to note that the EXP does not show up in your settings menu right here. So you will need to trigger it in your prompt with dash dash EXP. Now I have to warn you that this new parameter is pretty subtle. If you use it on like a painting, I'm not sure if you're going to notice a difference. You know what? Why don't we just try that out? An oil painting of an amusement park. All right, then we'll do a curly bracket, a comma dash dash EXP. And you know what? Let's bump it all the way up to 50 just for this example. By the way, this little permutation means that we're going to be running our prompt with and without what's in those brackets. And like right off the bat, can you tell a difference? We use the same seed number so that we know there is a difference. Like these are kind of similar here and maybe this one and this one. But like first glance, no, you can't really tell what's going on. We can look a little closer if you want. This is without the parameter. Beautiful picture, sure. And then with EXP set at 50, do you notice a clear difference? Like maybe there is a little more detail here. Again, this probably wasn't the best example, which means that you may not even notice this parameter in your prompts. But if you do prompt for something detailed, I have a feeling you are going to notice a difference. So if we prompted for something like an armored wolf by default, we're going to get these pictures. And of course, they're not bad. And then let's watch what happens when we start to add some EXP. Here it is at five, still sort of painterly, but then the jump to 10 and we're already starting to see some more realistic, more detailed expression. Like that's a pretty crazy picture considering we didn't change anything but this new parameter value, EXP 10. And we're getting that. Like that's pretty amazing. And it's right around this value right here. EXP 15 is my personal favorite so far. Of course, I could be completely wrong about that. You're going to have to experiment on your own and try it out. Please let me know if you come up with any conclusions, but I like 15 a lot. Here's 20 and we have another two realistic looking wolves, 25, 30. Like, look at that. That's awesome. 40 with this one right here, I think standing out 50. Ooh, how about this? Jesus, that is terrifying. 60, okay, I think I'm a big fan of those. 70, those are some cool pictures. 80, 90, and 100. Like they said in their notes, you're not going to see that much of a change from 50 to 100, and I think we saw that pretty clearly. But going from 5 to 50, yeah, you're going to notice quite a bit of changes in your generation. And then I want to show you this example that the Mid Journey team shared with us. So on regular version 7, if you were to prompt for a cat girl in Star Trek, you're going to get these literal cat girls in Star Trek uniforms. And like, that's probably what you want. But the new parameter seems to interpret this idea a little differently. So we'll go from this to this. And like, what do you think? It's still Star Trek, but it is, I think, noticeably different. It's kind of difficult to put your finger on it, but something about these generations is just a little more, maybe creative or dynamic is the right word to use. It's subtle, but it is influential. We were hoping to see Omni Reference and Fast Mode in this update, but they ran into some delays. So if you want to stay up to date with when these do launch, please subscribe to the channel and we'll explore this technology together. I can't wait. That's all for this update. We'll see you when Omni Reference drops. Until then, I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.